Hey, good afternoon everybody. This is Chris Lightness with MobilitySite.com and I have today a video first look at the HTC Touch Pro 2. Uh, this would kind of be considered the uh, predecessor to the AT&T Tilt except for this is an unbranded European version uh, because it tilts like so. And uh, you know, unlike the HTC Touch Pro, which the this is the HTC Fuse, which is a variant of the Touch Pro, it doesn't tilt. But the original tilt did tilt. So anyway, uh, let's take a look at it. I've already I got it in this past Friday. It's Monday today, and I've been using it all weekend. So uh, I've, I've had a busy weekend, so I didn't have a chance to take any pictures or do the uh, unboxing officially. But I do have the box, and there is stuff in it. So let's uh, take a look and see what I left in here. Like I said, this is a European version. This won't work on the 3G network in the U.S., but there are uh, rumored to be, I say rumored, but we pretty much know it's going to happen. There's going to be a Verizon, uh, T-Mobile, and a uh, AT&T version, almost definitely. And they probably won't be too far down the road. Uh, we've got some software and some little pamphlets and stuff, and, you know, do you really care? Quick start guide tells you how to use touch flow and stuff like that which is the uh, software on top of it because this is a European charger that's all I got was a European charging plug fortunately this thing uses you uh, at mini USB so there we go so we should be good to go plug the USB there if you were in Europe uh, the charger I have for the US for the touch diamond looks like that this is the Touch Diamond 2's charger. This is the Touch Pro 2's charger. Uh, anyway, uh, this is the cable that comes with it. It's uh, kind of a proprietary mini USB. It's a little different than a mini USB, but mini USB um, generic cables will also plug into the port right there. So, and then USB on that side. We've got, what, an extra charger here. I've already taken the battery out and placed it in there. And then we have the headset here, the headpiece which plugs in to the same port as the charge port. So that's all we got. Oh, and a case. Let's see here. The uh, Touch Pro or the Diamond 2 had a case come that came with it and I was kind of impressed with that. And we have one for this one too. I guess you just slap that in your purse. There's no clip or anything to put it on your belt or whatnot. So anyway, let me clean this mess up here. And make sure, hey, nope, we didn't miss anything. Uh, I'll clean this mess up and then we'll get a little hardware walkthrough and then some comparisons with some other phones. Hang on just a minute. Okay, we're back with the Touch Pro 2. And let me give you a little quick walkthrough here. This is the Touch Pro 2. And uh, let's we'll start with the front here. You've got a front facing camera here. Let's see if we can, uh, yeah, you can't really see that because there we go. Uh, logo, got a speaker port there. Down here at the bottom, you've got the uh, zoom bar here, which I demonstrated on the Touch Diamond 2 demonstration. Uh, talk, end, uh, windows, which is start button and a back button. If you hit this, I'll show you that again later. It actually doesn't bring up like a drop down start menu. But anyway, we'll give you a touch flow, another touch flow demo here in a few minutes. Uh, on the bottom, all we have here is the USB port and the microphone there, it looks like. On the side here, you've got your stylus silo, which uh, slides out like so. And I'm not sure 100% what that is. On the other side, all you have is the volume, rocker switch that goes up and down. On the top, you've got your power button, and that's it. On the back, you've got a mute button, which is kind of interesting. And we've got a camera here, and then obviously a real nice... Um, back cover here and if you pull this back cover up <clears throat> this is where your uh, let's take that out because it's easier to put it back in uh, you've got your reset hole right there which uh, let's see if we can get you where you see that better uh, anyway reset holes there that's all you need to know and on this side that's where your micro SD slot is so you actually have to take the cover off however as you can see 
just taking the cover off doesn't kill it. If you take this uh, battery out, which is a 1550 milliamp hour battery, um, 1500 milliamp hour battery, excuse me, and uh, real nice device. So uh, that's a little walkthrough there, and let's take a look at it against some other devices here, real quick. Actually, let me show you here. I forgot to show this. This is the uh, tilt screen here, slide out keyboard. You can do it like this, or you can tilt it up. It's up to you. Uh, nice little keyboard there. Works pretty good. Um, so yeah, this I uh, didn't tell you the specs either. It's a, a 528 megahertz uh, Qualcomm processor. It's got 512 megabytes of ROM, 288 RAM. Uh, the camera is a 3.2 megapixel, 1500 milliamp hour battery, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, you name it, it's got it. It's got a G sensor, and it's also got a sensor like the iPhone has where if you're on a call, it'll darken the screen when you have it up to your ear, but when you move it away from your ear, it comes back out of dark, and uh, you can actually maneuver or whatever. So, uh, let's see. Uh, let's go way back. I'll we'll show you a few devices here alongside it. This is the uh, iMate KJM. Actually, this is a QTEC version of it, but this was the original uh, Windows Mobile slider that I remember. This was one of my favorite phones for quite some time. But uh, you see it's gotten a lot thinner there. Okay, the next one, which is what this is uh, most reminis reminiscent to, in my opinion, which is the... Uh, the um, <clears throat> excuse me, ATT and A A T and T tilt, which was the Titan II, I believe, HTC's model, and it's quite a bit thinner there. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, well, we had the um, the HTC Fuse, which is the most recent uh, s slide out keyboard for AT and T, which they've got a variant of this on basically every carrier in the U.S. Now this is the Touch Pro, and this is the Touch Pro Two. So there you go. Uh, we've gotten a little thinner and a little taller, but I don't know. This is too boxy. I, I love the phone so much, but now that I've got this in my hand, this is uh, eh, not so much anymore. Uh, LG Insight, which has no slide-out keyboard. And it's a little bit, the LG Insight's a little bit thinner than the Touch Pro 2, but it's uh, quite a bit shorter. What else? We've got the another slider here, which is kind of, I guess, pretty much the same thing here. Uh, the Acer M900. It's uh, about the same size there, but the M900 is a little bit thicker, and uh, does the M900 doesn't doesn't uh, tilt like this one does. Yeah. So, uh, what else we got here? The Samson Ace. There you go. Uh, the Samson Propel Pro. There you go. Uh, the Touch Diamond 2, which is basically the same hardware specs, memory and uh, processor wise, but obviously a little bit thinner. Obviously, this doesn't have a keyboard. Check out my video first look at that last week, I guess. I uh, just posted a review on this finally uh, today, in fact, on mobility site, the uh, Samson Omnia. Uh, obviously no keyboard on it as well. And we'll finish it off with the iPhone, the original iPhone, eh? And there you have it. So let me uh, get this thing uh, set up and move the camera around and I'll give you a little qu quick software tour. Okay, I'm going to try this a little different with a darker setup here. Hey, we just saw something really neat. Did you see how the time changed and it looked like an old style clock? Um, I'm going to have a bunch of, uh, I guess you would call uh, HTC Touch Pro 2 porn on a um, mobility site here pretty soon. Uh, I'll put some pictures up later on this evening. Um, comparison shots basically what you saw here on the video um, but anyway this is um, the touch pro 2 and this is the touch flow 3d or whatever you call it um, operator or, uh, you know like a shell on top of Windows Mobile this is a Windows Mobile phone if you can't tell by the start button up here that doesn't actually go start oops I'm trying to do this through the camera sorry um, We'll start with the start button here. As you can see, and 
you can uh, refresh on this and see another variation of my demo here on the touch diamond 2 which would be my last video that i put up on youtube but you've got a uh, programmable buttons here and you got room for plenty more here and uh, all you do is you hit that right there the plus sign and you pick what you want to make a uh, start button for and there you go so while we're here I'll show you a few things here well uh, you've got your um, calculator which is uh, HTC's own skin there and we'll get out of that uh, go back to start uh, you've got a YouTube thing here uh, Google Maps I'll come back to these I'll come back to these better yet I'll go ahead and do it here and now let's uh, just go ahead and see if I can get something going here this is the YouTube application which uh, I had a problem with on the touch diamond uh, because I had I didn't actually have it connected to the internet I've got the uh, Wi-Fi uh, going on this one so let's see how it works there it's connecting I don't know if we'll get a uh, get this to work today here. I had it working out in town earlier today on the uh, Edge network, AT&T's Edge network. Because like I said, this is a 3G phone. Or it won't work as a 3G phone here in the U.S. So it doesn't look like this is going to work. So we'll just go back out of it here. Well, it's bringing all this stuff up. So let's try one more video. Maybe that video is having problems. Or maybe it's just got a buffer too long. I don't know. Ah, anyway, you see it. It worked for me earlier, so that's all you care. All right, we'll back out of there, and we'll just back out of the application, and we'll go back to start. And what else to show you? Uh, Google Maps. You've seen Google Maps before. I don't need to show you that. Then you got RSS Hub. I haven't set anything up here, so we're probably not gonna. Yeah, there's nothing there, but. It's just a simple RSS reader that HCC's put on here, which works about pretty good. I've used it on the diamond here. Here's an interesting one that uses the G sensor. You've probably seen this before. It's been on a few, a few others. As you can see, I'm just moving the device around and maneuvering this ball here. Try. Oh, I'm gonna go in there. Yep. See, I'm no good at this. But anyway, so that's. Uh, that's on there for you to play with. I personally prefer a bubble breaker, but hey. <laughs> um, and, you know, you can put anything you want there. So we'll go ahead and back out of there. Go back to the home screen there. And you're at, this is the, the main tab here, the home tab. The next tab in here, you've got um, call history, uh, voicemails, calendar. And you can click on the calendar and it'll bring you over to the calendar tab, which, you know, you could just slide like that and get there. So the next tab I'll show you is the people tab. <clears throat> and to protect people's privacy, I set up a few things here. I've uh, just used some common stuff. You can slide through your contacts here. You can add a few of them to the front here. And each one of them has icons right here that you can select what you want to do with it. So um, from here, you can go and hit all people. And this brings up the people app which uh, gives you a lot of cool things. You can flip through here and see all your all your contacts. And uh, I've got some duplicates here from some problems I've had in the past. Lots of duplicates. So it also syncs up with, um, I'm not going to hit that because I don't want to give up anybody's uh, personal information, but you can see it says new blog post looking for TH. This syncs up with um, with Facebook now. And as you can see here, there's uh, some people, I've got like 14 of my contacts on my phone that are also on Facebook and it determined that and it's got their timeline here and it's giving me a Julie, Julie's birthday notice here. And uh, right here you got your call history, your favorites, which are the same ones you see on the front page there and like I showed you all. So we'll hit the back button here and go back. And the next tab is your text messages and you can scroll through your text messages like so and almost all my text messages are mistakes I made an error I sent the wrong phone number there so and you can click on all messages right there and be taken to all your text messages both incoming outgoing 
uh, here's your email tab and you can flip through the emails like so and basically the first few of these oh and if you click on it it actually opens it up but you can slide through them one of 23 two of 23 basically all my emails are error messages from the website so uh, and you can click here and go straight to inbox and show all of them so get out of there and there's your calendar tab again uh, you can click here for your day view which shows you know what that current date is and I've got no appointments there uh, next tab is your internet tab and you can set up push pages which basically the push pages are they go out like once every whatever whatever you set right here it says every six hours and actually download the content of that page so I guess for offload offline reading if you wanted to so I don't have that set up but anyway the browser you know you just launch a browser here and uses opera like the uh, like the uh, I was downloading pocket twit so <laughs> you see that still on there but that's the browser it works pretty good uh, you can go to YouTube again you can go to it from here which we're not going to do that um, and you got room for a few of these touch things here or you can just like type right here we'll go mobility site and see if my Wi-Fi is working and you can search directly from here oops yep there we go came up with the results there and I'm gonna get out of here and go back to the front and the next one is stocks and as you can see I added HTC to it earlier today I'm gonna add a new one to it right now let's go to menu add stock and I'm just gonna type in I don't know TRG and see if I come up with anything yeah see there are some stocks with TRG so we'll just click on this one target I get I'm assuming that's target and hit update now and it should change there you go last update zero minutes ago so that's your stocks it uses Google or Yahoo Finance um, here's photos and videos you can scroll through your photos just like that and if you want to look at one you click on it and you can scroll in and out with the or zoom in and out with the zoom bar there move it around if I want to let's find a better picture that doesn't look all the same there we go well one more yeah let's do let's do this one I'll zoom in on that fish there so I'll scroll over here if I can learn how to move my finger on there and zoom in on the fish Actually, I'm already zoomed in pretty good. Zoom in, zoom out. Okay, anyway, that's your photos. Um, you're maneuvering through them. You've got your camera tab there, which brings up your camera. And you can see the camera, 3.2 megapixel camera. Hit back, and I'm not going to show you. Well, yeah, might as well. Video. And I can record a video there. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, back at it. Uh, oh, one other thing, you can click here and see a slideshow as well. So if you had a bunch of pictures on there of your kids or whatever, you could set up a slideshow to show a friend or whatever. All right, that's it. Let's go to the next one. This is the music tab. And you got the same two albums that they had on the Touch Diamond, for examples. I don't use my phones for a media player, so I really don't care about this purse. Personally, I use a Zoom, but you just... Finger friendly, come on. There we go. So I did the same thing on Touch Diamond. Anyway, that's all. Uh, you got your weather tab here, and I've got it set up to Birmingham, Alabama. And uh, last updated three days ago. Let's update it now. <clears throat> 85 degrees in Alabama right now, or so it says. So we want to see what Tokyo, it's at 66, Paris is 66, is that right? 77 in Seattle, nice day in Seattle. So just flick up through there, oops, Taipei is 79. Uh, and also too, just to show you, you can go left to right 
and maneuver through the tabs that way if you don't want to be down here. So here you got your settings here, which uh, you've all you've seen all this before, but I'll show you anyway. Sound here you can pick your ringtones and stuff. Uh, let's just pick a ringtone. Uh, let's go down here to. Hmm, I kind of like that. I'll just hit done. Okay, and then back. All right, that's enough for that. Communications, you got the same communications manager. And uh, I've got airplane mode off and Bluetooth off, but I have the phone, Wi Fi, push, and data connection on. So, settings, you can do some settings with those. But I'm going to hit exit. Uh, customize tabs. This is where I can move the tabs around or you know actually turn one of them off let's say I don't know let's see calendar I really don't care about the calendar so I'll turn that off and it should restart right here as soon as I hit done yeah it's restarting touch flow now <clears throat> and you'll have to just trust me it's not there because it's not there do you see it I don't see it good anyway settings uh, <laughs> customize tab. Uh, I skipped wallpaper. Let's go to wallpaper and we'll pick a new wallpaper for me. I'm using that fire looking one there. Let's go to this one here. Now, if you go, uh, there you go, it's updated. Uh, what else we got? My contact card, mail setup, G sensor. I didn't show the G sensor calibration last time, but um, you can calibrate this. If you can look at those bubbles, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. You can see that I'm moving it around, uh, but you know if I if this is how I hold my phone every day all the time when I'm checking it, I can hit calibrate right here, and it'll calibrate the device to where this is that position. But anyway, I'll hit OK. It's probably got me all messed up. Uh, auto screen rotation, like right now. Well, actually here it won't do it. Let me get back to home. It's not going to do it on that either. Let's find something it will. Well, anyway, I'm not going to show you that. It's no biggie. Uh, here, when you have it in landscape mode, as you can see on the home screen, it doesn't show me any of the tabs like you saw on the, the other view, right? you got to hit right there, and there's your tabs. Just to show you. Um, kind of cleans it up on that view, I guess, and that's maybe why they do it. But anyway, see it goes away on its own after a little time here. So anyway, uh, what else do I want to show you? The phone. We'll hit there and hopefully, eh, good. I cleared the uh, call history. Uh, basically, you can see here you've got a conference mode or a regular mode. I haven't tested the conference mode. I've got no idea how that works, so I'm not going to lie to you and say that it did. And also, you can do a video call. Flip that slider there. Um, but basically, uh, works out pretty good. Let's see here. I uh, don't want to call anybody right now. Let's just do this. Click here, and there's your keypad. And uh, let me go back out of there. Oh, I got the wrong number there. But anyway, I, not really a whole lot to show you there. So anyway, I think that is about it. Let me make sure there was nothing else I wanted to show you. Let's hit all programs here. I've got Adobe Reader, Album, Audio Booster, Bubble Breaker, <clears throat> Calendar, da da da, Excel, same old stuff that you always got here. I don't know what this J Blend is. I haven't had an opportunity to look at that. And then you've got uh, Jet Set Presenter, Mail Setup, OneNote Mobile, Opera Browser, Pocket Twit, which I just added to it uh, today. Uh, I've also added. Um, SPB screenshot and I've actually set that up to where I can hold that and take a screenshot anyway um, World card mobile that's kind of neat. I haven't tried it out, but I took a look at it It's a you to use your camera and you put it over a Business card you take the picture and it tries to convert that card into a contact. So that's pretty cool But anyway, I think that's about it my name is Chris Lechness. This is the uh, Touch Pro 2. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of light here and uh, give you one more little look at it before we put them away.
it's a really nice oh here while we're doing this let me show you something that I noticed today or actually I noticed Saturday uh, let's get some light back on the subject here uh, let's see um, the tilt the angle of tilt is just about the same on these two I don't uh, I've was reading over at pocket now that the other well there's a little difference there oops you can't see that the angle of tilt is a little bit different but not so much as what was at pocket now earlier today I was checking out a post that they made in their review of this device they've already reviewed this got it Friday and reviewed it over the weekend I guess but anyway yeah this is the tilt and this is the touch pro 2 and this is the touch pro 1 and you take a look at those keyboards there so anyway I don't know what else to show you I think we've showed you about everything there is to see right now so uh, check out the uh, video and I'll have some comparison photos up on mobility site later today maybe tomorrow and uh, I'm out Chris Lightness mobility check us out